Preschool teachers, what secrets have your kids ratted out about their parents? One time, this girl started talking about her older brother. She said, one time, my brother went swimming, and then he drowned. This was at the beginning of the day, so some parents were still around. One of the other moms and I look at each other like, oh my god you poor thing. Then the girl gives me the cheekiest smile and says, just kidding. Four years old, and she already has a dark sense of humor. Homophobia. I taught at a STEM summer camp for kids 4 plus and most of them were 4 to 8 years old. One kid was calling everyone deja vu, which they thought meant wife for reasons that are a completely different story, and they all got super offended and went crying to me to make him stop. I told them to chill out and that, even if deja vu meant wife, it wouldn't matter, because calling someone something doesn't automatically make them that thing. I use the example, if Jack called Miguel his wife, would that make him his wife? And they all laughed it off but one kid, who became super offended at the idea of two men getting married. He kept saying two men can't get married, just like two women can't get married. It's weird and bad. My dad said so. I didn't want to get in trouble with a parent by saying something they wouldn't like to hear their kid parroting back to them, so I told him that yes, two people of the same sex can get married because there is no law against it anymore. He seemed really confused by that, especially when several other kids confirmed that it's legal, so it's all good to do that now. I'll let them go back and forth on it for a bit because it was really fascinating to hear little kids talking about it. I could tell that some of them were copying their parents' views, like the kid I talked about, but some of them had obviously begun to form their own view, whether it was through TV, their teachers, or a mixture. The kid had an older sister who seemed genuinely trapped between defending her brother from the group that disagreed and trying to make him shut up, like she was genuinely embarrassed with what he was saying, which was odd, because she stood up for him, even when he was being a jerk to the other kids and acknowledged that he was being a jerk. It was just so weird to see him all upset over something he barely even understood. I had a kid whose parents were morticians. The second day of school the student told me mama's job is to poke dead people to make sure they are actually dead. I mean, good on them for normalizing their career to their kids. This kid also really loved, are you afraid of the dark and Beetlejuice? They were 5 and could quote the movie better than any adult. I worked at a preschool, but at the time I was in charge of the K 8th grade after school and summer program. During the summer I walked into one of our rooms where a new kid who was between preschool and kindergarten is choking himself with a belt with another student watching him. Now we were pretty sure both these kids were on the autism spectrum, but it was a catholic school with no special ed services and neither child's parents had had them tested. So I sent the student that was watching to the other room and ask the kid why he was choking himself. The kid tells me he saw his dad choking himself with a belt while his mom watched, but she was naked. I was lost for words and told the kid something along the lines of don't do it again and go play video games. Worst part was that when I told my boss about it, she made me be the one to talk to the parents because I was a man and the child in question was a boy. Nothing more uncomfortable than explaining to a super catholic family that their young son caught them during some autoerotic asphyxiation. We were having one of those events when parents are invited to watch their kids perform. There was a 7 year old girl whose father arrived just in time to watch her. I ask her if she's happy that daddy made it on time. She says a. I only ever see daddy when school has these events. He likes to come so he can pretend he still lives with mommy and me. Oh oh, something I can answer. I haven't had a lot of like, shocking or inappropriate confessions, but I've had some weird ones. One girl, 6, told me riding in the van makes me upset. So naturally, I asked why. She said because it reminds me of the time I was in the car, and I thought of going to the beach, and what if a big wave came up and washed her 2 year old sister away. I had this oh shit this kid has bad anxiety for a 6 year old moment real hardcore. Most preschool kids aren't the ones you have to watch to tell your secrets though. I also worked with 12 to 13 year olds, and they spill that shit like water. One kid told me, my dad died 2 years ago. He was 74. My mom's only 40 though. So she's a gold digger. I had no idea what to say to that. Preschool teacher here. 
It's always really awkward when you mention something about Father or Mother's Day to a group of 3 or 4 year olds. Seriously, every single time a kid never fails to blurt out, I don't have a mommy, miss. Kelsey. So now I kind of dread those holidays at school. Another thing is a little boy told us a while ago that his daddy and mommy don't go to sleep together and that mommy sleeps in a different bedroom than daddy. Then one day he told us he can't sleep because they yell all the time. We decided to bring this up to mom because the poor kid seemed so tired even with naps in the middle of the day. All she said was yeah, isn't it crazy what kids can pick up on and just chuckles. Grandma told us the next day that the mom and dad are getting a divorce and dad doesn't want to because he wants his family together and the mom wants to take all of his money. Of course it's dad's mom saying this, so I'm sure it's biased, so we don't know the exact story. Kids absorb everything they hear and everything they see. Parents don't think that fighting or even the littlest things from their relationships affect their kids, but it completely changes their child's behavior. Just make sure you're that parent that actually cares enough to change something and not be embarrassed by it. Us teachers aren't here to judge. We care about your kids and their well-being. We don't care about what's going on in your personal life. There was this one kid in one of our classes. He was four. He came up to me and showed me a picture he drew of him and his father. They were both naked and he had drawn little penises on them. The penis for himself was normal, and the one for his dad was disproportionately large. He pointed them out, this is my PP, and this is daddy's PP. His PP's big. And he gestured with his arms spread out. I started to laugh, but tried to hold it and was like, that's a very nice picture, your dad will love it. It's real big. He said. Not a teacher, but when I was a camp counselor one of my campers asked me do you have a sister? I have a sister. I just met her last week. My dad had a different family that wasn't us, but he didn't tell anyone, not even my mom, so that's why I didn't know her sooner. But my new sister is my age. Isn't that cool? I asked my mom this question, as she used to teach second grade. Her answer, Stephen's mom lived with different boyfriends, and often they'd fight and break up with him to witness it. Steve would often come to school upset because his mom told him they were moving as he got on the bus and he might not have a home to go home to. Though one time Steve said last night mama and boyfriend were arguing. But this morning I went to kiss her goodbye and they were naked in bed together. So I guess everything's okay. My mom was volunteering in my kindergarten class. One of the other kids moms was also supposed to be there but she never came. My mom and the teacher asked the kid if his mom was alright, assuming she just got sick, and he said something like yes, but the water balloon in her boob is leaking. Apparently her silicon breast implant had an issue. My mom still laughs about it today. I knew my years of teaching would pay off. I've had so many secrets told to me, usually pretty harmless. One time a child told me her parents forbade her from going to the cops for anything because they would arrest the family and send them back home. Apparently they were illegals from South America. A little girl told me her mommy would start taking a medicine soon that would make all her hair fall out and she would look silly. I literally couldn't hold back the tears. My heart broken so hard that day as her innocent little face stared at me, not knowing the extent of the situation. A guy still, don't know what happened. My friend is a kindergarten teacher, and posted on her facebook one time, that one of her students was trying to erase pen on his paper. When she asked, why he was doing that, he replied, that's what my daddy does with the checks we get. When my son was in pre-k the teacher asked what does your daddy do. My son piped up with my dad as an necromancer. I worked in sales, but I think I was playing a verquest at the time. I got some interesting looks when my wife and I were called in for a parent teacher meeting the next day. Not a preschool teacher, but I had a student going through a rough patch. After a bit of talking she confided that her brother's birthday was coming up and that he had died a few years before. He died in circumstances that I guess the parents were ashamed of and had forced her not to tell any of her friends that she had ever had a brother. They even switched schools so she would be away from anyone who knew and everyone in their family was told that he died suddenly from cancer. She was extremely close with her brother but was forced to live a life where she couldn't talk about him and none of her friends even knew he existed. 
the story got worse, but I'll end it there. Absolutely heartbroken for that girl, but I was so happy that she came to trust me like that, and that she could talk with someone. This is about a first grader, but I'm actually a preschool teacher, so I'm not breaking any rules. While talking about bad habits, a kid blurts out, one time my dad got drunk, passed out, and peed his pants. I knew he was living with his aunt, not his father, so I didn't have to call CPS or anything, but we did talk to his aunt about it. When I was about 10, one of my Sunday school teachers asked how I was doing, and for shits and giggles I said, well, things are going a lot better ever, since mom and dad stopped fighting, and dad stopped drinking so much. Luckily she was really good friends with my parents, and so she knew I was bullshitting. She took me straight to my parents told them what I said, and then my parents had to explain to me what deep, deep shit they could get in, if I said things like that. Not really as grand as what some of these other stories might be, but once I was reading a book to my 3 year old class. I don't even remember the name of the book, this was sometime last year, but as I pause to turn a page one of the girls speaks up. Miss Princeling, shit isn't a bad word. She says this with no prompting. Very matter of factly. I pause, a little too startled to form a coherent response right away. Um, I said instead, looking to the other teacher preparing snack. It was loud enough that she'd heard too, and she was giving a deer in the headlights look. I think it was just how out of nowhere it was, and how confident she was saying it. The other children start to giggle. Oh, well, it is, sweetie. No it's not, she insists firmly, shaking her head. Big tail's flying. It's not. Because my daddy says it all the time. I hear a loud snort from the other teacher who ducks into the children's bathroom with a squeak of we need more paper towels that we do not, in any way, actually need. Oh, I say, smile frozen on my face. I can't laugh. I can't encourage this. Well, that's not something you should say in school, okay? Okay, Miss Princeling. Can I go back to the book now? Yes, she says with a nod. Her piece is said, and she is satisfied, that she shared her knowledge with us. Reading resumes and we had a funny story to tell her father, when he came to pick her up at the end of the day. He was very embarrassed, but thankfully saw the humor in the situation too, and we were telling all the other teachers about it during nap time. Not preschool, but I worked in an after school student care center, and one of my students, Nino, kept bringing toys from his house to the center, to give them to his friends. After repeatedly reminding him not to bring toys to the center, I took him aside, and asked him why, is he giving away toys, that his dad bought for him, he is from a single parent family. He said, I have too many toys at home. My dad always buys me toys, because he works all day, and has no time for me. <laughs> Former preschool teacher. Pearl and Raina were the most adorable kids. Their parents were friends and neighbors. Very nice and attentive parents. They volunteered quite a bit. One day the class was talking about smoking cigarettes. Just little kids trying to understand a big subject. Some kids talked about how their parental units were smokers. Then Raina piped up, our parents smoke. This I had not expected. Then Pearl said yeah. They share a cigarette. And she and Raina perfectly pantomimed taking a jid off a joint and passing it on. Howlingly funny. Well, when I was in class 8 to 9, I don't know what is equivalent in American system, a junior comes to me and says that his friend needs some help. His friend was crying and I thought maybe someone tried to bully him. I asked him what happened, and his friend answered, he owes his parents and his neighbor, guy, having sex and filming themselves. And when they saw him watching they asked him to film them. After that his mom asked to have sex with her. The guy was creeped the fuck out. Next day he was crying in class whole day, and wouldn't talk to anyone. We just consoled him, and told him everything will be fine. Wishing in our hearts that who, and where his mom was. We couldn't find out though. They used to live in another city, and visited their son from time to time. I remember that time they used to travel by planes, when it was a luxury to do so here, 